I'm Derek Slidden, and welcome to this week's episode of MTC TV. And I'm Tyler Wagner. All right, guys. Students on the technology indebted list should pay these fees by the end of the semester. Partial payments are accepted. You may pay Ms. Lee in the main office. Hats and gloves and coats are being collected, and there is a box in the main office. Mrs. Schilling and Mrs. Wright's room to drop off the items. We'll be right back after a short break. When your friends invite you to a party, you make bad decisions. When you make bad decisions, you make bad grades. When you make bad grades, your parents yell at you. When your parents yell at you, you get stressed. When you get stressed, you go for a walk. When you go for a walk, you interrupt football practice. When you interrupt football practice, you get tackled by a 6'6", 350-pound all-pro defensive lineman. Don't get tackled by a 6'6", 350-pound all-pro defensive lineman. Say no to underage drinking. Now let's go to my good friend, Jake Molstad for some weather. Hi, I'm Jake Molstad, and for today's weather, we have a high of 40. For Friday, we have mostly sunny with a high of 28. And this weekend, make sure you bundle up, because it's going to be mostly sunny with highs of 35 to 40. And Merry Christmas. Since Christmas is right around the corner, Tristan got to interview Santa Claus. I'm Tristan Wood with MTC TV, and I'm here with... The one and the only Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. How are you doing today, Santa Santa's Claus? doing good. Fantastic. You're still on the naughty list. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I was doing, boy, I was oh trying boy. to be You tried there for a while. Well, let's try it. Okay, so I got, I got a couple questions for you, Santa. Uh, who is your favorite reindeer, sir? That is an easy question to answer, you know. And, and everybody would say, well, that's the natural answer. But it's Rudolph because you have to have him on the bad nights. I mean, if every Christmas Eve was like tonight... You wouldn't need Rudolph, but you have to have Rudolph, so, and he's been around a long, long time. Exactly. That is a perfect answer. I couldn't think of anything better. All right. How are your elves doing, sir? The elves are doing good. We had three of them out at the college the other day. Uh, they were out for the college concert, did a wonderful job for Santa. Uh, Santa doesn't get around those balconies real well. Get up and down them chimneys all right, but getting around them balconies is tough. So they, um, they came down. We had three great elves come down from the North Pole, hand out candy to all the... Uh, all the people out there enjoying the fine concert, and it was a great concert, a great time, and Santa had a wonderful time. Really, that is fantastic. I can't believe I missed those three elves, but, you know, they'll be here next year. Yeah, there, and there was all kinds of them up here Friday night. There must have been uh, 15 or 20 of them running around. I don't know how you missed any of them. I don't know how I missed any That's of why you're either. on the naughty list. I know. All right. Does Santa Claus vacation? Yes, he does. Yeah. Oh, boy. We need a vacation after, you know, I... The, the, yeah. We always have to wait for Mrs. Claus to get ready. And Santa's always ready as soon as Christmas Eve's over. Last year we left after the last stop, Christmas Eve. We got in the sleigh and took off. And we decided, rather than take the sleigh all the way to where we were going, we'd jump on an airplane and guess what? The tornadoes hit in Atlanta and we were delayed for 24 hours. Oh, no. Santa Claus got delayed. We almost had to break out the sleigh to get where That's we were going. That's terrible. I hope that doesn't happen this no, year. No, but anyhow, so Santa does... Uh, Vacation, and uh, like I said, this past year, I mean, literally, the last presents dropped, the last house delivered. We jumped in the sleigh and headed for St. Louis, supposedly to get on an airplane. Guess what? We, we, we had to wait 24 hours. I thought I was going to have to call them and have them come down from the North Pole and get me. Shame, shame, okay. shame. All right, no, next question. Do you have a favorite cookie, sir? Well, yes, I do. Chocolate chip. Mm, Chocolate classic. chip is... My favorite cookie, I eat way too many of them, chocolate chip and white milk. Uh, Santa's been trying to keep his weight down. Skim milk works fine. If you, if you drink skim milk, don't feel like you got to go get whole milk for Santa because uh, skim works, works well. All right, that's awesome. And one more question for you, sir. How do you fit down the chimney? Well, that is through the, the magic of Christmas. You know, uh, and if I told all the secrets, then uh, there wouldn't be anything to leave off for people to wonder about. So, right. you know, there's a lot of things that people wonder about Santa Claus and Christmas, but it's all about the season and about giving. And uh, how Santa gets up and down that, that chimney is uh, is really between Santa and the people that uh, and, and uh, they help him get up and down that chimney. So a lot of elves involved in that too, by the way. Though. All right. Yeah, we got to keep Christmas secrets, all right? Okay. Now, thank you for letting me interview you, sir. Okay, uh, do you want to get a picture out front of this wonderful house? I, it's I a beautiful yes. home. Yes. yes, it is. But have a Merry Christmas, sir, and I will see you when Christmas comes or whenever. Well, whenever yeah, and, and Santa loves your uh, your ear bulbs there. That is really good stuff. Thank and you. Uh, yeah, and you know what? You've made great strides to get off the naughty list tonight. How about that? Yes. Thank Merry you, Christmas, Santa. everybody. Merry Christmas. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. I'm Derek Sutton. And I'm Tyler Wagner. Everybody have a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and a Happy New Year.